Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So now let's do this example here. What is 48 divided by 6? So remember what we just learned. We learned that division is the opposite of multiplication, and every multiplication fact can be interpreted as a division fact. So let's look at this. 48 divided by 6. So in my brain, if I'm thinking of division as the opposite of multiplication, I want to ask myself, what could possibly multiply times 6 to give me 48, right? So I start going through the multiplication table for 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is six. Uh, is 24. Six. Wait, 6 times thr 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 8 is 48. We know that 6 times 8 is equal to 48. Aha. So if we were looking for, well, we are, but, right, but if we're looking for 48 divided by 6, we asked ourselves in our brain, what number times 6 gives me 48? And aha, 8 does. We have this fact here. So this is equal to 8. Okay. Now, of course, if you know this multiple, so basically this example is done. Okay. Um, okay. Using the other notation, we would express this fact as follows. We would put this number on the inside of our long division house, like this. We would put this number on the outside of our multiplication house, and we would place this number here, because 8 times 6 is 48, okay? We're going to look at the mechanics of this notation later, uh, where it's going to play a significant role for us. But I, don't, I want you to realize... Um, I want you to know this notation. I want you to see this notation because we're going to, we're going to, I don't want us to lose track of that. Okay. I want us to become familiar with this notation. One last thing before we go, as you can see, the problem's already done. We were asking what is 48 divided by six. We got eight. We got that because of this multiplication fact. Since we already have this multiplication fact in front of us, we can ask what other division fact could we derive from this multiplication fact? Well, we could say that 48 divided by 8 is 6. So we would write that like this. 48 divided by 8 is equal to 6. Okay? Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this example, and let's continue to another example.